Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Only, my name is AJ, and welcome to a brand new series of which I don't yet know the title of, but by the time this video goes out, I would have thought of a title because it was on the thumbnail and is probably on the title. But we're building a castle. Now I saw this, uh, a similar idea done by B00 quite a while back, and it was an idea of building a castle from smaller pieces and we design the individual small pieces and then we combine them together like giant Lego bricks to build up a castle and I really really liked the idea when I first saw it and I've been trying to think of a way on how we could do it now I want to do it in an actual world so if you guys are building along there's the seed you can come and it's we're not too far away from spawn. Uh, my cohorts are on screen now. If I look up in the sky, you can see them a little bit better. X minus 159, uh, Z 319. That'll bring you to about this area. Uh, if you do like the seed, everybody always asks me for uh, the seed to every world. And I'm actually using the same directory, the same Minecraft directory as the zoo world. So I do actually have the animal mobs. Not that we're going to be using them, but I want them for a few reasons. Number one, so we've got world edit. That's going to be a huge part of this series series as well did it um to copy and paste pieces and uh, then i've also got the shaded pack um installed as well so we can see the the cast in such a cool lighting is that actually sharks in the water that is natural sharks in the water how cool is that and uh, another odd thing that i didn't know is that the uh, seaweed the reeds in the water of the zoo uh world actually spawn in oceans how cool does that look what is that giant mess there? <gasps> There's a hammerhead shark. How cool is that? I have no idea what this giant shadow thing is. Hopefully that'll clear up. But anyway, I wanted it near the ocean because I want this castle to look so awesome. Just ha I want to build up some land and I want to have the castle like surrounded with water with ocean and then have a long bridge that goes off that I think will join up quite nicely to this little mountain here. See this? If we had like a bridge, like a long stone walled bridge to a big castle somewhere out there. I'm thinking of traditional castle, but with a lot of detail. And it's gonna be a really fun way to build. Of course, once I've built all the pieces, I will release a world download for you guys if you wanted to build your own castle out of the pieces that we're gonna build first throughout the series. I'm very, very excited for this. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. I've just been waiting for a spot to sort of come up in the uh, schedule to be able to do it. And uh, this is a sort of premise. I'm going to go, um, I don't know. We just need sort of an area to build some equipment on first, don't we? Let's just sort of go up here. I know I could do a position in the air, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Oop, we're loading up some weird, weird world sections. You know what? I don't need the... I don't need the render distance that far. I can drop it down a little bit. We don't need it far, at least for the moment. So we'll go from here. Can I do... I can't remember how to do pause 2. If I do pause 2... Oops. There we go. Uh, set grass. Kapow! So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a area first to build our individual pieces on. Somewhere for us to copy and paste it when all the pieces are done. And uh, it, it's going to be so cool. Let's just jump straight into it. Today I want to start on some towers. I want to have three to five bases of towers. Different bases. I want to have three to five middle sections of towers. And I want to have three to five caps of towers and then what we can do is we can mix and match so we can have like base number one with middle part number one but with top number three or middle part bottom part number three with middle part number two and top number two and then you can get different towers they're built from the same or similar pieces but each tower will look different very very cool it might sound a little bit complicated at the moment but believe me it's gonna look so sick i'm gonna have no texture pack i just want a vanilla texture pack for this series and i think we want to grab some sort of stone we're going to grab some different stone types not the monster egg one not the monster egg one we'll grab that one that's the monster egg one we'll grab some stairs we'll grab some walls we'll grab some cracked ones uh grab some slabs 
and maybe some of these slabs as well just to start us off with and then we're going to go around with some wood the building the whole castle is going to be pretty much made out of stone and different types of wood uh it's going to be a sort of medieval styled castle and i think for our first base i want to do Maybe we should do a smaller one to begin with, to get our head wrapped around us. So we're going to do a diameter of five, which basically means if we had the center point, we would have something along the lines of... So this is sort of a smaller base. Something along the lines of this, okay? Now a base... Each tower is going to be made up of a minimum of three blocks. One base, one middle, and one top. But there's nothing against using more than one middle. So we can have like three middles and then a top on, above that. It's so, so cool, this idea. Now, we need to work out a dimension of which our blocks are going to go. If we don't work out a dimension, when we try and stick the pieces together like Lego bricks, they're not going to line up. Obviously, we want to keep with odd numbers because that always gives us a middle point like we have here. As far as the upward distance goes, it doesn't really matter. You could have odd or you could have even. Um, we could go with a 5x5, five five, which would be something along the lines of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Something along the lines of that. And build a piece. We'll go with that. For the moment, we'll go with 5x5 five five sections. We can always have 5x5 five five sections for the small ones, 7x7 seven seven for the medium ones, and 9x9 nine nine for the big towers. Just talking about towers at the moment. We'll, be on, we'll get on to walls and stuff in future episodes. And I think as a base, as like a blank canvas wall, or, or like a blank canvas to begin with, we're just going to go with normal stone. We can then dress this up with uh, stone bricks, with slabs and stairs and wood and all that kinds of stuff later on. But just for the moment, we're going to start off with a 5x5 five five area. Now we can go bigger than 5x5. Five five. We can put like details of like stairs out here, although it makes it bigger. It's still a five. It's still a base of five by five. So down the bottom, I think we want to have some stone bricks on these sections. This is great because it's something that you can make up as you go along, and no matter what you do, it's going to look so cool. As long as you like put enough detail in, yeah, like that. It's just a it's just a matter of of, of getting as much detail in as you possibly can. In a small space. We don't have a huge amount of area here. So this is a nice sturdy bottom for everything to go off. I don't want any windows in the bottom here. And I don't think I want any doors on here yet. I can always add the doors in afterwards. You probably want the doors on the corners here. Because it's likely we're going to have a wall coming off here and off there. So you sort of need to think a little bit ahead. We're going to go with some cobblestone walls oh yeah i haven't set any of the time stuff time oops set day um time set seven thousand gets the sun nice and high in the sky uh game rule uh oops do daylight cycle false and then it stops it right there have some uh, cobblestone walls around here it's just an extra texture and then I think we're going to go with these slabs above like this. Maybe this one we have no wood on. We just keep this a pure stone build. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix in some cracked stone brick around the place. This is going to be so cool, guys. You have oops, you have no idea. This is going to be such a cool series once it really gets rolling. Something like that. And I think for this, for our first base, that's going to be it. Now, we want more than one base of this size, though. So the next one we can do... Let's leave three three blocks in between. So it'll be five when you take that. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. You need to get this right now. Otherwise, otherwise it's going to cause problems later on. That'll be that one and that one. Yeah, okay, beautiful. One, two, three. If you don't get this right now, you're going to have a lot of trouble later on matching, lining everything up. So I'm being very careful as I'm still getting the ideas um, 
through my head. So this one's going to have a little bit more, we're going to have some wood on it. We're going to use uh, stone bricks for the main part of the tower. And then accent it with either oak or spruce. We're in a sprucey-ish forest here. Uh, obviously, we're going over ocean for most of the castle. So I think oak will just go better. Three, four. There we go. That's the height that we're going to want to go with. So we've got like a five by five circle here. And then this one's going to have some more logs. I like the stone at the bottom. We're going to grab some logs here. I'm going to put logs up this one, this one, this one, this one. And what we'll be able to do is we're going to be able to pick and choose between different stuff and build a totally awesome castle. We're going to be building uh, wall sections. We're going to be building um, gate sections. Uh, we're going to be building little outhouses. And then we can just combine them all together like a giant... Lego set. Uh, we want some sort of slab. I think I'm gonna go, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick with the oak. I'm gonna stick with the oak. Put these on top of here. Bases are pretty simple. The me the the middle sections are gonna be a little bit more complicated because they're gonna have windows and stuff in them. Um, like this. And then the tops are probably going to be a little bit more complicated than that because we're going to have different types of peaks and uh, spirals and, and all that kinds of stuff. Okay. So there's our second base. Uh, I think it needs a little bit more work. I'm not a huge fan of that. I want something like that slab. Maybe some cobblestone. Up on this level and that level. That I like. That one, that one, all the way, oops, around here. So the first few episodes of this series is going to just be making uh, sections. It's going to be my favorite part of it because I love these little, I love the idea of, of this combining together. So I've got two little bottoms here. I'm going to leave that two bottoms at the moment. We can always make more later on. And I'm going to start on some middle sections. The things that are going to actually end up being on top of those ones. So we want to start off with a... Get this right. There, one, two, three. Yeah, beautiful. So this one has a stone uh, design. A smooth stone design. So we're going to try and keep all of the each one in line. So we know what pieces go to each one. And again, we want this to be five blocks high. I should be able to stand in the middle. Hollow cylinder. Stone. Three. Five. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting good at them. I'm getting good at them. So this has no wood in it. This is an, a completely stone one. But we want a window or two in here. I want to have... Let's have something like that. We'll have some small little windows. Just some one tall windows on these ones. Again, these are the small window ones, or these are the small towers, because these are only five blocks diameter. We'll have ones that are seven and ones that are nine. The seven and nine ones can obviously have bigger windows, more impressive windows. Uh, do I want anything in the window? Do I want any glass? I think we're going to go with glass in these ones. And then we might go with fences in the wooden ones for the wooden window ones. So we'll have something like this. Now, obviously, you want to think about where things are going to join up and how they're going to join up, what they're going to look like. I need some cracked ones. So there's a little bit of forward thinking, and there might be a little bit of editing. There's going to be nothing wrong with, I should say, when we're building the castle, there's going to be nothing wrong with making changes and updating certain sections uh, of, of, the, of the build when we put it together. It's not like... We can't change at all. Once those pieces are there, you have to just use those pieces. We'll be able to modify them as we put them on to either make them connect up together or, you know, just uh, improve the styling in certain areas. I want to add something more on here, but I don't... I think I want it more towards the top. I think I want something like cobblestone walls on these sections. And then slab... We'll go with the smooth slabs. We've got those on the last one there, so they're not going to stand out. They're going to blend into the rest of the tower. 
here and there. And that's going to be our middle section for or the matching middle section. We could always interchange them, but that's going to be the matching one for that one. This one, the wooden one, we want to do the same thing. I want to stand in the middle of that one and the middle of that one. Boop. Here's another one. Oh, I should have done stone brick, shouldn't I? Ooh, get down here. We want to do a uh, stone brick. There we go. So changed it up now. So we want to add some wood in this one. We want some windows. Do I want the windows on the front or do I want the windows on the corners? On this one. Let's try them on the corners. Glass. We want full glass. No. Hmm. No, I'm going to go in the middle because we're using fences, aren't we, for the windows on these ones. So we're going to put some fences in the spots first. See, when we put them onto the... When we build these in the castle, we might not want a window on each side. So we can then block those back up afterwards. And I want some trap doors. I think be above and below. Or to the left and to the right. To the left and to the right. To the left, to the left. Everything you want to the box and the left. Something like that. In the closet. Okay, um, how else is this going to join up? This is going to go on top of that section. Uh, so we want to keep this sort of cobblestone um, sort of pattern in some places. Now, at the moment, it was technically two blocks. We've got one full block in the middle here, look, and then two half slabs. Ooh, hang on. Ooh, I like that one, that one, that one and that one so it's technically two blocks between so if i had that on there no i couldn't i can't i can't do it to keep the sort of two and a half block sort of idea so instead we're going to go with some stairs some cobblestone stairs and we're going to put these above and below like this that one and that one that one and that one anything else cobblestone walls in the corner probably not i'm gonna keep it a no i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take these corner ones out and replace them with logs you gotta be you gotta be pretty creative here to to get so many different designs i want three it would uh, i'm gonna bring down my 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 idea of a little bit instead of three to five i'm gonna go with three of each type of section so three stone ones or, or three bases of five blocks wide, three bases of seven blocks wide, three bases of nine blocks wide. We could go bigger to 11 or 15 even on if we wanted a big tower in the middle or something like that. Okay, and then we've got the top. So I should really extend this out by a little bit more, shouldn't I? Let's just come out to here. Uh, pause two. I'm not worried about how neat... Um, as long as it's flat. Good. I'm not worried about this area being like a giant grass mess in here. Because it'll all be removed afterwards. I'll probably end up start going that way. Because that's the area that I want the castle to be eventually. Okay. So the tops. Uh, we want five blocks between. Because that's pretty flat flat and flush on the middle. One, two, three, four, five. So this is where our next one starts. Stone. Now... I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to undo. I can't. Uh, undo. And instead... I'm going to do it... I'm actually going to do it a little bit bigger. Hang on. It would be that that and you'll see you, you'll see why we'll build we'll build a tower at the end once we've got the pieces done and i'll just show you how this series is sort of going to work but i think this one needs to be a little bit bigger because it's going to cap the top of it it doesn't matter if this one's five blocks tall because this is the 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 tower part that's going to go above it it really doesn't matter how big uh, this thing really becomes i'm going to cap these off with these I think that'll dress it up pretty nicely. 
And then we want, oh, might as well go with some blue. We'll start off with a nice traditional blue cap above this. These could be a little bit tricky to build. I've built quite a few in my time. We've done them on Zonocraft. We've done them on the theme park world. I've done them off camera. But they do still take just a little bit of practice sometimes. Uh, to get the sort of peak right. I'm going to do something like this. Something like this. Go over the tops of these. I doubt I'll get this right first time. I might need a little bit of adjusting. Let me have this over the top. And then that on top. You know what? That's going to work really well. For what we need at the moment, that's going to work really, really well. I think I'm going to put in a little bit of detail. Um, I'm going to do these. I don't like either of those. Stop. Stone stairs. I've used stone stairs. I can get away with stone stairs then. Oh, yes. That was a happy accident, wasn't it? <laughs> How often does that happen? Yeah, I like that better. Okay, and then we want a cap for the wooden one as well. I don't really want it blue. We're going to go with a different color here. Uh, we want to have, again, five blocks between. I want stone brick. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, four because... Yeah, 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 no, that's good. One, two, three, one... Two, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, whoops, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, uh, so for the wood sections, we're going to do it a little bit similar, just for the start. This is only one cap of hopefully many to come, and I think with this one, I think I do want some logs going up. Um... I'm going to go with spruce so it's a little bit darker. And I'm going to make this a little bit more of a dome. This is a little bit more of a point. I don't think that's quite tall enough. Yeah, that's what was needed. Uh, that's a, a little bit more of a cone shape. I want this one to be a little bit more of a dome shape. So we're going to have this one. I'm going to put one on each of those. And then come around in like a circle. Oops. So it's going to be a little bit lower. I might use some slabs on this as well. Slab. Make sure we get the right one. Spruce. Something like that. Let's try a stair. It's close. Yeah, I think the stairs better, and I might put a slab as well in these corners. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, so there's the little dome one, and I think in the middle we'll grab the logs. I want a little log to come out here with a fence. I've got a fence somewhere. I know I've used them like that. So we've got currently two towers that we can build now what we need to do for this is i need to set up uh, what i'm going to call anchor points so i'm going to use red wool for the anchor points and these anchor points are basically going to allow us to easily grab each block so we can have one anchor point there and one anchor point here and the same on this one we want one anchor point there and one here one there and the anchor points are, are technically all the same size on each one or we can have that one there it's a smaller anchor point on that one uh, because it doesn't have any sort of bits that come out wider this one does come out wider we have to have that one there and out here and then the final the top ones we have one here and a little awkward one to draw out has to come out to there Okay, try and bring this out all the way. Okay, beautiful. One down here. Now, is the moment of truth. Can we make a tower out of this without too much problem? Let's say I wanted to make the grey tower. We're going to select that one and that one. 
I'm going to stand where I would want, which would probably... Well, for the moment, I suppose I could... I'll stand in the middle. So I'm going to stand right in the middle. And I'm going to copy it. Now, let's say, for argument, can I set... Oh, I can. Sweet. Um, pieces. Oops. Yeah, pieces. I before E, except after C. And then we can turn that off. Okay. Let's build the tower down here. So, again, we're going to stand in the middle, which is where we copied it. We're going to paste. And we have our base. The anchor points be there. But, uh, oh, be there. The anchor points are there, but we take those out afterwards. So, we now click on our second anchor points. Again, we stand in the middle. And we copy. We go down to where our place is. We want to go into the middle again. Right here. Stand on top of this. Paste. I'm not going to look at it too much. Oh, no. Incorrect. Undo. Okay. Our anchor points on the base are, are one block out. We They shouldn't be on the grass area. They should instead be up here. Yes. It's pretty obvious when you think about it, isn't it? That one, that one, and that one. We grab that, that one, and that one. We come down to the middle. Now we get rid of that grass part in the middle. I have I, the idea is there. Oh, they actually swim in like packs as well. Oh, there's actually other sharks down there as well. A little bit scared of those. Paste. I'm not going to look at it. I want to look at it at the end. And then the last one, which is the cap, we're going to go from here to here. And then for this one, I'm going to stand here, because I can't obviously get to the middle. And that's going to then put it on, I think, here, if I'm correct. That's where it should go. We can take out the red pieces now, the anger pieces. And we get ourselves a short tower, okay? Oh, I missed one at the top. So this is a short one. This is the three pieces that we've got so far put together. We've got the base, we've got the middle, and we've got the cap. And as you can see, it makes like a miniature witch's tower at the moment. Obviously, when we build the castle for real, we're going to want to have it a lot taller than that. We're going to want to have multiple middle point pieces, ones with windows, ones without windows, uh, so on. If I, for example, undo... Let's grab this one again. Stand in the middle. Copy this. Yeah, I'll just copy this for the moment. And I'm going to take out the windows on this layer. So this is where we can like modify certain parts if we need to. Oops. If we need to get rid of the red as well. And the one here. Come to the middle point. Whoops, I fell. Paste. So now we have a blank part and then the windows above it. You can start to see that the tower is going to look a little bit better now that it's taller. And then we can grab the top. Here to there. Copy. And paste on top of here. And I think this will give us a little bit more of a realistic looking tower and there we go so it's the simple uh, stone one nothing too complicated nothing too crazy we can go higher we can make more sections and you'll be able to mix and match certain sections and make a totally unique castle that no one has ever built before even if they had the same download link where we've got all the pieces it's going to be really really fun if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe we'll see you in the next episode